Hiya folks, I'm Grim, and welcome to Grim Grooves, a channel where I react to, and review, music of all kinds. Today we'll be checking out the Vita boss theme from Honkai Impact 3rd that's been asked for many, many times. <laughs> I'm excited to check this out because everything I've heard from Honkai Star Rail at this point has been amazing. It's just one of those games that, like, every Ho Hoyoverse game honestly just has amazing music. And this is a full boss theme, and I don't think I've really heard many boss themes from Honkai Impact 3rd yet. Maybe one or two, but still, I'm excited to hear more. Uh, but if you've got anything else you'd like me to check out, throw it down in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It helps the channel so much, and I, I appreciate everyone who supports me. Speaking of which, I'd like to thank everyone who supports me over on Patreon, too. Because without their support, I wouldn't be able to continue doing this, so thank you all very much. And without further ado, let's check out the Vita Boss theme from Honkai Impact 3rd. I'm just gonna turn my <clears throat> turn my volume down because it is way too loud, but it's still very very good. Like the vocalizations are incredible here, and the like booming behind there, like oh, it's so cool. Such a beautiful piano melody, and the violin coming in here too is just absolutely fantastic <coughs> addition to that. Like, already the vocalizations there, again, I was saying, like, they're so well done. Like, just very ethereal, very airy, very beautiful. And now we're getting into, again, this piano and string melody here, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is only phase one, I'm guessing. So good. <laughs> is really cool too it's incredibly disjointed but that's not necessarily a bad thing it feels very like surreal as a song like just so many different elements coming in and out like the uh synth like accordion sound there and like just the different beats here and there and like it's really interesting and really unique <laughs> i was not expecting this to shift up from what we had from phase one i'm guessing but yeah this is really cool
love a good mournful yet beautiful violin melody like that absolutely fantastic and behind that you get like a little bit of uh kind of really crunchy synth melodies going on there and the percussion just hitting really hard right now and those vocals are also fantastic like so different than the vocals we got in like phase one there deformed butterfly and now this is just so much more interesting and unique like they've just built it so much and so it's developing so interestingly throughout this and i'm curious what the next phases will be this is already so unique and interesting compared to all the other Hoyoverse music I've heard. with that uh it's either an organ or accordion i believe it's an accordion but it's, it sounds synthetic but that's again not a bad thing it works really well here for the melody and stuff like that and i guess we're going into the next phase Ooh. That violin melody is like very reminiscent of like Lindsay Sterling, if you've ever heard her music, because she's just an incredibly skilled violinist, and it really reminds me of the style of uh, melodies she typically does. But really well done, though. <laughs> It's super fascinating because it's like so again disjointed but it works so well <clears throat> like the violin coming in from the back and then now becoming the forefront melody and then the piano behind it and the more airy vocals again like we got in the very first phase they're just like very ethereal and very airy very angelic kind of vibe from it like i'm i get the feeling that this boss is like uh there's something surreal about it there's something like un unsettling but at the same time they're like something to do with gods or some kind of angelic kind of uh force or something like that something outside of the earth or the planet there whatever i don't know that's the kind of vibe i get because it just seems very uh disjointed and there's a bit of distortion there too and stuff like that it's really interesting style though and yeah this is really cool <laughs> I love how over time it's like the distortions and the kind of modifications on the melodies are just becoming more and more prevalent. Like now we're getting the violin melody in with a lot of like kind of dubstep elements and really like distorted synth and style things like that, which again, it works fantastically for this and the way that it keeps building and changing. And I want to actually get that last little bit again because it was just so interesting and unique. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
as we go, like the it feels like the percussion keeps getting heavier and heavier as well, like so intense. And I love that the violin melodies are kind of pro- progressing throughout the entire thing. Like in the beginning, we just had like little little bits of violin here and there, and then it become more and more pronounced as we went on. And now it's like the violin itself is meshing with the kind of again dubstep elements and the synth and everything like that. And it's all just coalescing incredibly well. Like this is fantastic. And now on to the final phase here. <laughs> come to the end and everything is coalescing completely like the violin melody even from the beginning of this section is just very distorted like there's a um, some kind of modification on the violin itself that sounds more synthetic i don't believe it is i think it's just the modification they used on the violin but it's really interesting because before it was like just very crisp like raw violin melodies which sounded incredible and now it's like the violin itself, whatever the element the violin is supposed to represent, has also become corrupted or changed in a way. And now we're getting a complete mix of everything together. And the, the vocals, are like again, being very angelic and ethereal and stuff like that, mixing with the, the violin and everything else and the percussion going wild and the synth and everything, it's so well done. crescendo like everything just went even more crazy as time went on and like the violin melodies got a little more intense well a lot more intense actually like just so unique though so uniquely done like that was excellent like i know you guys have been saying that music from honkai impact third is incredible especially like boss music and like environmental themes and stuff like that (coughs) sorry i certainly have to check out more from this game because At this point, I've only experienced, like, a handful of things in, like, songs and stuff like that. But, yeah, this is a really high bar for boss themes in this game. Because it's just so varied and so many different styles in this and the way that it built over the course of this battle. Like, I'm guessing this is multiple phases of a battle. It might be multiple battles in general. I'm not exactly sure how this one specifically works because they don't exactly flow into each other, like, seamlessly. Like, each section feels very different. Like, so there might be just, again, multiple phases, and each phase has its own unique style to it or something. But regardless, it's incredibly interesting uh, and really well done. Like, I, I just loved how the violin throughout it, well, actually every different element throughout this entire thing kind of changed and modified until it all kind of amalgamated together into a new thing entirely. And it was really cool to see, really cool to hear as well. <laughs> But anyways, thanks for hanging out watching my reaction. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, later days, folks.